In this video, we're going to have a, a first look at Bayes' rule, uh, and we're going to look at an example um, where we're doing blood tests to determine if somebody has a disease or not. I'll leave the disease unnamed, but um, the stats are actually um, accurate. Okay, so we're going to look at um, Bayes' rule in the context of false negatives and false positives on um, a test for a disease, and we'll look at it on a broader perspective as well, uh, other than just doing medical testing, but it's very highly used medical testing. Okay, um, carrying on, let's look at our example um, in this video. So let's say a patient takes a lab test. Um, this is an actual lab test, uh, or actual test for a disease. Um, okay, the test returns, returns a correct positive result in 97% of the cases. Uh, and a correct negative result in 98% of the cases. Uh, so where it gives a positive result where the disease is actually present 97% of the time and gives a negative result on the test when the disease is present in, or sorry, in not present in 98% of the cases. Our problem is going to be that we want to know if the disease is present. We're doing the test to determine whether or not the disease is present. These stats are actually backwards. That might hurt your brain at first. We'll have a further look at that later. So what we really want, we want to know, okay, given the test result, what are the odds of somebody actually having a disease or not? Uh, and so there's false positives and true positives as well. We're going to look at those. So false positive is when somebody, when the test result says they have the disease, but they don't actually. And a true positive is when the test result says they do have the disease and they actually have it. Okay, moving on here. So what we actually have. Here are the conditional probabilities we actually have. Um, so probability given somebody has a disease, the odds of them testing positive is 97%. Given they don't have the disease, the odds of them testing negative 98%. And 8% uh, or sorry, 0.8% of the population actually have the disease, or if you will, that probability is 0 0.008. Don't forget for probabilities to divide by 100. Okay. Um, now, um, what we can get from there, well, we can um, do the complements of each of those. So we do one minus each one to figure out. So if somebody has a disease, the odds of them testing negative will be that left over 3%. If somebody does not have the disease, the odds of them testing positive will be the left over 2% when we do 1 minus the 0.98. And finally, if 0 0.008 is the probability of somebody having the disease, then 0.992 is the probability of people not having a disease. Or if you will, that's 99.2% of the population that do not have this disease. Okay, now what do we actually want? We want to flip the probabilities around. Somebody has tested negative in this blood work test. Um, so what does that mean? Do they have the disease? Do they not have the disease? Uh, let's say, sorry, and let's say somebody has actually tested positive. Okay, do they have the disease? Do they not have the disease? So what are those odds? 